So Mithra is coming out today. And of course, you got to record a reaction video, so why not? <laughs> so uh, I've actually haven't watched the direct yet since I'm in PST, so it came out early, so I had to sleep in, so <laughs> a little late on the reaction, but I might as well decide to record one right now, so let's get into it. Ah, he's back at his house again. Yeah, I need to play Xenoblade 2. Oh yeah, definitely with some uh, original Xenoblade mechanics, because I played the first one a little bit. I never fully uh, committed to the game, though. Yeah, I need to figure out more of the backstory there. I already understand that it's another part of herself. Very nice designer. Okay, so what are the stage mechanics here? So this is where Rex actually originally lived, huh? Man, I didn't know that. Humble beginnings for a character like Rex, I guess. This man still using two pro controllers for <laughs> for the game. Oh, so like every other character ha has a driver. Okay, for each blade, but they have their own form. Okay. I thought I was just uh, Rex and Pyra, but I was wrong. So is his only movement on its, or the only stage's movement is on his head? Oh no, this is a... Oh, this is a me sword fighter recovery. Oh no. <laughs> just, just looking at that animation, that says it all. And the stage moves on the edges so you might not be able to recover too. Oh, this is going to be a casual player's dream. The stage looks pretty good from a battlefield perspective though. Yeah, the bottom is definitely a lot more detailed. Okay, here we go. This is the good stuff. Right, so to switch between Pyra and Mithra, it's like instantaneous. People have been saying it's like two or three seconds. Oh <laughs> no. So now it's just taunts. Yeah, that would even be a lot more chaotic if Rex got in. Uh, fighting alongside Mithra and Pyra. Pyra and Mithra. So, s sadly, uh, they focus more on his taunts. Still, though, their designs look awesome. Oh, so they use the same um, skin from the spirit board. Makes sense they don't have to, you know, show the bulge. <laughs> oh, at any time. Oh, people could abuse the iframes on that. They're actually different colors? Oh, I was, I was just thinking they were just going to switch between each other for just two switches. So no alternates. Oh, <laughs> they have inverted? What? <laughs> oh, okay, now that, that's a good one. <laughs> just up the saturation. Uh, well, is that really the only difference they're going to take? Only just by the blade and by hair? Okay, well, I was thinking if it was just the blade, then that would be not the greatest way to tell. Whoa, Mithra is much faster. And Mithra jumps... Uh, yeah, Mithra jumps a little bit higher. Yeah, wow. It's like, you, if you want to use Mithra a lot, um, would be like the trump card of the character. Man, that looks really strong. All right, wait, how much? Oh, that was, okay, that was 20%. Ugh. Okay, so you can choose where you want to go with the counter. Okay, kind of like Green Ninja's counter. So you can choose to stay in place, or you can choose to go behind or move back. Okay, what about going up? Is it just left and right? And then in one place? Mithra is more about speed and Pyra is more about, I guess, the, the attack power behind it. Yeah, look at that. Mithra is moving a lot faster. <laughs> Even just the F tilt is a lot more. You could probably try to utilize both, but that's going to be really tricky, especially for combos. Well, at least on day one, uh, it's going to take a little bit. So, oh, okay, so they have a fury of a jab. See, so yeah, Mithra's dash attack is much faster, but dash attack for Pyra is definitely gonna have a lot of kill power if, if uh, you know, he's, she's fo more focused on power. No, wait, let me, um, let me go back a little bit. So, with that uh, Mithra combo, so down tilt, F smash, up tilt, and probably side B, Nair, to forward air, and to up B. Man, okay. I think down tilt combos into almost everything. Wait. I was about to say, if Mario like gets damage in there, like I didn't notice the 20% just there, you can KO someone at 20%? Oh, he's flexing with these parries though. <laughs> well, I think people could still DI that once, but the second time is not going to be so easy. Okay, so Pyra's up smash, one hit. Mithra, 
Mithra's multi-hit. Wow. Dance Smash comes out quick. If you could switch between Mithra, Mithra's speed and then like try to go for the kill with Pyra, then this character is already broken. <laughs> of course, Pyra's the only one that's going to get a meteor effect. Oh. Wait, okay, this looks like a, a Joker down air that scoops, but it's slow. So the best way to edge guard with uh, Mithra is going to have to be like nair coverage with edge guards. Then, then Pyro would probably have to be used more with forward air. Back throw. How about down throw? Ooh, that looks really nice. We'll just have to see what the combos come out to be once we get that video out. Okay, now we're getting to the B moves. <laughs> so, I think they'd basically be the same, it's just between speed and power, of course, like with the other moves. Oh yeah, Flame Nova almost... <laughs> this is like Zelda neutral B. Oh no. It could hit two opponents. It, it looks like it covers a lot more. Okay, so it does also have a charging effect. So that could also be a kill move, too. Ooh, okay, so there is definitely a lot more risk to doing uh, Flame Nova. I don't know how much, We'll have to see how much shield pressure th that does, though. That would probably do a ton. So, Lightning Burst covers only in front of uh, Mithra, so that seems more like uh, Octo Slash of what uh, Zephyroth had. Oh, okay, that does have a ton of reach. That range looks ridiculous. And it also has iframes. Great. <laughs> oh, okay. So now it feels like um, Nova, but it covers a lot more on the side of the stage. and it's, So now people are going to be camping with that a lot. I can, I can already tell. And it, the, the range does extend if you hold it down, it looks like. Oh, okay, this acts like uh, Link's boomerang then. Okay, yeah. But it does stay in place for a little bit, but you can go back and collect it. Ooh. Yeah, if you're using that to try to stop people from edge guarding, you're probably just going to have to air dodge. Because if you can't use up B after that, then you're definitely screwed. And it can be reflected. I don't know. <laughs> Phantom's Edge. Oh no. Now this is a Dragon Ball Z move. Oh, I thought her neutral bleed was more like Acto Slash, but this is... This is definitely more like it than a, a Mithra's neutral B. You're probably going to have ridiculous iframes on that if you're wanting to try to approach people, of course. Oh, no, that's a good recovery option. If, if you can cover a lot of uh, space, then that's great. Okay, so this, that's going to be tricky if you're going to know where they're going uh, straight ahead with that move. <laughs> she disappeared. She's gone. Now, Prominence Revolt is a copy-paste uh, Me Sword Fighter recovery right there. Just looking at that. But it's probably going to have a lot of power. Ooh, so string it with down air? Okay. Oh, if you want to get out of a situation that, you know, they're trying to cover the ground, then that'd be one way to go back. Now with Ray of Punish, that seems more like a, a bigger combo extender with Uppy. Oh, okay, so there's two. So one's like, covers one area, then Chrome Dust can cover multiple areas. Oh, okay, yeah, this is gonna be, those are gonna be easy edge guards for uh, Myth Remains if they, you know, don't switch. But a good mix-up option, uh, nonetheless, if you're using both. And, of course, yeah, that, that should be reflected. Okay, so down, down B is going to be swap. It's just like Pokemon Trainer. Yep, you do have iframes. Mm. <laughs> what about projectiles? Yep, and, oh, and projectiles. Oh, oh no. Okay, that's right. I, I remember seeing that from the reveal trailer, that they have two different... Uh, final smashes. Oh, 
Oh, that looks really strong. Number, what about Mithra though? Oh. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Because, uh, of course, Pyra, again, having more power. So it's better to KO one opponent with Final Smash than multiple. But it looks like it, um, in a case with more than one enemy, it's good to use Mithra uh, Final Smash instead. But if you want to go for kill power, just focus on uh, Pyra for one opponent. We'll just see how the combo game goes uh, between switching between both of them. That is going to get nutty. <laughs> really, Sakurai? Huh. I don't think so, pal. <laughs> oh, okay, so that's their intro to give him the blade. You know, now that I'm thinking about it, um, I think Rex should have been the main proprietor for Xenoblade 2 because, as they covered earlier, driver to a blade. It would have made a lot more sense if, you know, Rex was in it because he's the dr driver. He, he would actually be the one doing most of the attacks. So maybe they mix things up, but it also gives them a chance to actually have girl fighters. <gasps> Here we go with Kirby copy. Oh, no, that's adorable with the hair. Oh, that's, that's too cute. It's adorable. Oh, so the oh no, this is going to give hope to the Kirby mains. Just a bit of an oomph. Just 3%. Ugh, Pirates is 39? All right, how about Kirby? Almost 50% just from that alone. Wow. All right, let's play the game, Sakurai. Give us a show your skills. Oh, okay. I was thinking he was going to show us classic mode. But, yeah, okay. Uh, tag team, it makes sense. No, no, don't do this to your boy Shulk. Yeah, uh, he, has, he has to do it for Nintendo. That would have been fun, though, if he actually did a full on squad strike with the others. Oh, okay. That up, he also just covered the ledge. <laughs> Didn't notice the item there. Yeah, try, yeah, he definitely needs to switch to Pyro to finish him off. And there we go. I hope he's playing against level 9 CPU to show off his real skill as playing the game. Bang. <laughs> oh, that didn't kill? That was close. Oh, that should cover it. Very nice. Mithra's neutral beat covers a lot more, uh, probably with people jumping from the ledge. It's probably the same thing for Pyra, though. Okay, got his final smash. Is he going to execute it properly? I think, yeah, using Mithra is the smart play here for damage. Around 50. Not too much. But it's a start. <laughs> He's actually wanting to resort to spamming now. <laughs> okay, there's another final smash. Just misses it. Can you get this one? There we go. Okay. Now all he has to do is just finish off with a Pyra's final smash. <laughs> uh oh, wait, he's going off stage. Oh, I almost thought he risked himself there. Shouldn't kill just yet. Oh, almost. Oh, this is getting really tense. <gasps> going from above with this uppie. Nice. Man, I almost thought he was going to lose. But of course, Father Sakurai is not going to lose against the CPU. And it was level 8. <laughs> oh, no. That was uncalled for. All right, how many songs do we have? Okay, so this should be in the existing uh, Xenoblade playlist. So, is it either 19 or 17 in total? So, just, just a couple new uh, spirits that they've added to the list. But what's the legendary on this one? <gasps> There's a secret one there? Right. What's the secret spirit they're trying to hide? Is it too revealing or something? I don't know. I just I don't know what to put there. Seems a little weird though for them to actually blur out uh, something from the spirit board. Oh, so they have new spirit forms now. Okay. But why do they gotta blur everything out? <laughs> it still doesn't make sense. All right. So who's gonna be deconfirmed? We'll have to see. Don't crush our hopes and dreams and take away Crash, because I'm hoping for him besides just Sora too, so...
Okay, this this is a Monster Hunter Me Fighter costume. Yeah, I already can tell just from the World of Light stuff. I actually I'm, I don't know the characters from Monster Hunter, so uh, if any fans out there wanted some Monster Hunter ga uh, Monster Hunter characters in the game, then I really don't know what to tell you. Unless this is just like equipment looks or something. Oh, Ghost and oh well, that's true. Ghost and Goblins did just come out, so it does make sense for them to actually put in some me costumes for it. Okay, honestly, I don't think ev not a lot of people are taking a hit today for uh, the deconfirms. If uh, some people wanted some characters from Monster Hunter, all right. So when are we getting Pyra and Mithra? Today? Oh, we are actually getting this today. Oh, let's go! Yes. The animation definitely looked a lot, lot more uh, authentic. So props to the team. So it, he at least helped with like the gameplay footage, but he didn't really help with the reveal trailer too much. Please tell me that's an, those are Anibo figures. Oh, okay, so they're just props. Wow, that okay. This is a full-on collection. Sakurai's been collecting. All right, so there's only two spots left now. Man. Can't believe we're getting so close to the end of Ultimate. All right. Later, Sakurai. Man, wow. Um, <laughs> honestly, I have no words. It was really well thought out. Um, uh, uh, seriously, though, I didn't expect that Pyro would be the one with most of the kill power, but it was the Flames, probably. Uh, with Mithra being the one with agility and for racking up damage, I think that's what's going to be uh, most people's gameplay for the start of a match, unless if they, you know, want to fully commit to the character. But I think most people are going to go uh, just with one one that, you know, they are comfortable with. <laughs> and probably be spamming specials is probably what's going to happen. So we'll just have to see, honestly. I, I don't know what else we're going to be expecting. But today, though, for it coming out is going to be pretty epic uh hopefully i'm gonna be recording a video uh with tricks pretty soon uh a bigger uh smash tuber uh meta of smash uh because he uh, wanted to record with all of us in the smash troopers discord but anyways uh that's my reaction uh hopefully i'll be having a face thumbnail pretty soon so if you guys have watched this far thank you guys so much and be sure to like and subscribe and i'll be uh seeing you guys next time